Good evening and most welcome to a lecture about chirality. I took the opportunity to put up a standby whiteboard since these things really do call for use of graphical tools. Handedness cannot be only explained. It needs to be shown. Once you understood it, or I would say there is a gradual understanding, you will have the knowledge, but it still means that you cannot explain. Why is that? It is because all explanations see it from the outside, the distance. They are the coordinate system. The Newtonian, Cartesian space of understanding, if you like. <coughs> This is wholly different because chirality is the feature from the inside. You need a hand with fingers and a thumb and an inborn chirality. It's an internal trait, not 
something coming from the outside. Directions like up and down, back and front are externally related and can only be externally explained. If the circumstances outside or the thing that you say is up in a certain direction and down in another and having its front to some direction and its back to some other direction. It is dependent on the outside and explained indirectly by the outside. Chirality is different. No changes in the environment will make any difference to chirality. It doesn't matter if you're outside in space where there is no up, no down, no front, no back. 
no dorsal, no ventral. The chirality will be the very same. Chirality is what makes up the other aspects of reality, like up and down. It is foundational. Only carality can give possibility of up and down and the relations that are, so to speak, externally. It actually makes externality possible.
Look at the hand, the directionality downwards in this case comes from the chirality. Without the chirality, there is no spiraling directionality. There cannot be a direction from a firm ground or, a, or an absolute. Newtonian, Cartesian, flatness. The molecules that are either left or right arranged are left and right arranged from within. All the other aspects of a molecule can be said to be ex explainable in outside terms. What they consist of how the different parts of the molecule are related to each other, all can be in the open, in clearance. But its chirality cannot. It needs to be demonstrated only. We can only understand it from within. That's the only way
A symmetry is life because it gives birth to all other features of the molecule. It is what starts the non-normal directionality or more foundational directionality. Before up, before down, back to front, ventral dorsal, all the directions of the compass needs to be founded in something more foundational. Let's have a look, see here. Handedness, an irreducible feature of reality. And it's what builds up every other aspect of reality, like mass extension, dimensionality, depth and difference. Chirality is the first irreducible difference. It cannot be erased. Let me just repeat from <clears throat> page 6 of David Morris' chirality article that will be in the link. And of 2005, the year of the publication of the article, <clears throat> no mechanism has been conclusively shown to initiate asymmetry. He is here talking about the body. I would say this is what initiate this is the initiation of all asymmetry. And no mechanism can ever be shown that starts asymmetry. To understand the point that no obvious aspect of nature differentiates left from light, right, let us now turn to a deeper level of the problem.
but it is more easily put through a variant developed by the mathematician Martin Gardner. which is also resonant with the embryo problem. Imagine we are initiating communication with a remote alien civilization which Martin Gardner calls Ozma. Communication of pure information can let us establish the sense of our world up versus down or front versus back because we can, for example, refer to universal gravitation or transmit pictures of our bodies with front and back labelled. It also lets us establish the difference between left and right. But it is impossible to establish in purely abstract, ideal, discursive terms which end of the left-right axis is properly called left. For example, transmitting a picture of a human body with the left labelled will not work. For the transmission needs to be decoded 
an absent and already shared chirality convention for determining left versus right. The aliens would decode our picture as its mirror image. We cannot tell, we cannot tell the aliens what is left versus right. We can only show it. The universe, though, exhibits a peculiar asymmetry. Some subatomic events are in, a, are in effect asymmetrically biased. So we can circumvent the problem by telling the aliens how the unis universe itself shows our chirality convention. But this is just a remote showing, not a pure telling. Put in Kantian terms, this implies that determinate chirality chiral sense is an intuitive not a discursive concept here we reach even deeper levels Analysis of the problem of chirality determination suggests it is a correlative with the problem of whether, for example, a hand on its own and without reference to anything else has chiral sense or is achiral. Remember that Melo Ponty thinks the glove itself shows chiral difference insofar as it itself indicates its reverse.
but this does not mean that the glove itself indicates whether it would be called left or right by we human beings according to our conventions. It is easy to think that the glove or hand could of itself have, for example, a left hand sense. But consider a two-dimensional figure of a left hand. But consider a two-dimensional figure of a left hand, flipping it over in 3D space or walking around to see it from the other side, reverses its sense to right. If the 2D hand is embedded in a 2D surface twisted in the manner of a Möbius strip, rigid movement of the hand along the surface similarly reverses its sense. A 2D space connected in this twisted way is called non-orientable. There are no figures in it that of themselves have chiral sense. Soon after Kant made his claims about incongruent counterparts, Mebius and others realized that a 3D left hand rotated through a 4D space would reverse to a right hand. For a being with 4D perspective, 3D hands lack chiral sense.
Ridi and Tugi hands have child sons only because they are embedded in an orientable space or are locally orientable via perspectival relations to those making sense of them from within such spaces. And we talked earlier about a non-orientable surface. That is the Möbius strip. And of course, the Klein bottle. So, without chirality, space itself would lack the possibility of giving relations or locality. That can only be given by chirality. It's the gift of chirality to the world. The Klein bottle is one of those non orientable spaces. Not a very good depiction. It looks like a flower. Those one just coming out now in the spring. But it is just a flat, non orientable space. For orientation to come about, we need chirality. And chirality, as Gardner showed, is the four language, and therefore not describable in language, but it can be directly shown, not over the net or via radio traffic, because all those things can be turned upside down or back to front and will not be able to hand over the chirality to the receiver through the net, through radio waves or even a letter won't do. I say thank you very much and have a very pleasant night. I will make another presentation with some more illustrations.